Hey y'all, it's Nasha here and welcome to today's video. We are celebrating my birthday week. My birthday was on February 13th. So shout out to all my February babies. Shout out to my Aquariuses as well, okay? So yes, my birthday passed, your girl turned 31. And I like to give y'all my favorites during my favorite month, during my favorite week, why not? We've already gone over my favorite pre-poos, we've gone over my favorite cleansers, which include shampoos, co-washes, and clay detoxes. So here on day three, we're gonna go ahead and get into favorite deep conditioners and protein treatments. Normally I separate those two out, but I decided to go ahead and put them in one video this year. I will link our year's favorite deep conditioners and protein treatments up in the cards and down below in the description box for you as well, just in case you wanna check those out and just see what I was liking previously. Are some of those things still the same? And I will say for the most part, a lot of those things are still the same. I'm a creature of habit and I like what I like and it's I don't know I just haven't found a lot of deep con like newer deep conditioners that have really knocked my socks off so I'm going to share with you all my holy grails my must-haves we have some moisturizing we have some moisture protein balancing and we have protein treatment so I got you covered but first before we get into this video if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell i post new videos twice a week and this week you're getting a full week of me but if you're subscribed you done hit that notification bell then you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead and get into these favorite deep conditioners and protein treatments. So like I said, I am a creature of habit. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know that Mish Beauty was going to be in my favorite deep conditioners, like of course. And right here I have with me the Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner, which is Chef's Kiss. It smells like Starburst, it smells like candy. It makes my hair feel so freaking soft, so moisturized. Like more moisturized than really any other deep conditioner that I've ever tried. And then I have the Strengthen Protein Moisture Balancing Deep Conditioner. So if you want a little bit of protein, and what I mean by a little, I mean a little because this is still super moisturizing, but you are gonna get some protein in this as well. But either way, these Mish Beauty Deep Conditioners really represent all of Mish Beauty's deep conditioners. Okay, the limited edition ones, you need to get your hands on. The OGs, the Indulge Strengthen, you need to get your hands on. You need to get your hands on all of them because they're the most amazing deep conditioners ever. I love the peaches and cream. I love the sweet pumpkin spice. Like the um, strawberry champagne. I like the vanilla sugar cookie, like pretty much all the ones that I have tried, I've loved. It's really just, you just pick your scent. What you want your hair to smell like. They're all amazing. I think even last year, I included the peaches and cream and the pumpkin spice, but I just am just gonna include all of Nisha's deep conditioners right here, right now. This represents all of them. You need, just get your hands on one of them, okay? And your life will change. Another super moisturizing deep conditioner, which again, I don't have my stash. It's from Nature's Little Secret. I have really been working on my Nature's Little Secret stash. So I was recently stocked. I remember having like four of these in my stash at one time, and now I don't have any. And that is the Nature's Little Secret Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioner. And the fact that I memorized the name that long ass name you know that I love that deep conditioner it has a bunch of great fruit extracts which are really good for your hair that give you the shine that give you the moisture that just really help make your hair nice and conditioned and ready to be styled it also has great slip it smells like peaches it just it's just an overall amazing deep conditioner. I've talked about it time and time again here on my channel. So if you haven't checked out the Natural Secret Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioner, then you definitely need to get your hands on it. I can't remember if it's a limited edition or not. I think it might have like been limited edition before and then she made it a permanent product. I can't really remember, but she does a good job at keeping what is considered limited edition frequently stocked on her site, so definitely check it out. 
And once I get through some deep conditioners of mine, I'm definitely going to be re-upping on that deep conditioner. Two more moisturizing deep conditioners that I don't currently have in my stash with me because I've recently like gone through them. Well, actually one of them I recently gone through. The other one is at my mom's house, which I'll get into. But first we're gonna talk about the Sultanicals Hibiscus Healthy Healer hair, something, something long name, you'll see it here. Amazing, I love that deep conditioner. It has great Ayurvedic ingredients, including hibiscus. My hair loves hibiscus. Anything that has hibiscus in it, my hair is going to love. Super moisturizing, has great slip. It feels kind of lightweight when you first apply it to your hair, but after you let it sit, especially if you're a little frosty, and you add some heat to the deep conditioner, chef's kiss, your hair is going to feel amazing so definitely get your hands on that it used to be limited edition or like seasonal at sultana pools but i think last year maybe the year before they finally made it permanent and i need to quit playing games and just go ahead and get a liter of it the next super moisturizing deep conditioner that gives niche beauty a run for its money is the eco slay banana cream deep conditioner and it wasn't until i was making this video that i realized that i have hair products in my mom's fridge that i totally forgot about if you um haven't heard i did move i was living at home trying to save some money but i recently moved which was a whole fiasco a whole situation um, I talked about it in my life update, so I'll go ahead and link that video up in the cards for you. But I moved and totally forgot to grab those because, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So I should be going to my mom's house tomorrow and I'm definitely picking up my Eco Slay Banana Cream Deep Conditioner because that thing is super moisturizing, super creamy. It has more slip than the Mish Beauty Deep Conditioner, but I feel like Mish Beauty has more moisture. Um, but I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Again, it is something that you keep in the fridge. So if you are low porosity and you're like, mm, something cold, you just want to warm it up in your hands. Take it out of the fridge first, let it sit for a little bit. And then when you're ready to apply it, warm it up in your hands. And then it really does soak into my hair, penetrate my hair strands. It's just amazing. I love it and highly recommend it. And then I guess the last more of moisturizing deep conditioner that I want to mention is from Agile Beauty. This is their Bayomint deep conditioning treatment. I absolutely love this deep conditioner. Super moisturizing, super creamy. It also has great slip as well, so I'm able to detangle my hair. And I love that Adwoa gives you a lot of product because I go through deep conditioner like water. I just apply a lot, I have a lot of hair, so I apply a lot to my hair. But this is just really great, very moisturizing. So far, besides the strengthen that I mentioned, I'm pretty sure that all of these deep conditioners are protein free. So now we're gonna get into some deep conditioners that are more on the moisture protein balancing side. Now, this bad boy right here has caused a lot of controversy. It's been talked about, you know, we are supposed to get this, I don't even know, like April or something, and we didn't get it until, I don't know, June, July, August, September. I don't even know. I just know I waited a long time to get this, but I do really like this, okay? I'm not even gonna lie. When you apply this to your hair, oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned the name of this. This is the Melanin Plumping Deep Conditioner. When you apply this to your hair, at first it doesn't feel like anything, but I'm telling you, low porosity girls, add some heat sit under your steamer, sit under your dryer, add a little hot head, thermal hot head to your, to your hair, whatever you want to do to add some heat. This thing is going to make your hair so freaking soft, which I wasn't expecting because you know, protein, silkening, strengthening, I thought that this was going to just make my hair feel strong, which I feel like it does make my hair feel strong, but it also, makes my hair feel super soft. As you can see, I've been killing this. I'm almost out of this. I have another jar of this. I love this and I highly recommend it. Melanin is now available at Ulta and available at Sephora. So you can actually get this on the ground, which I love. I know there's a lot of controversy behind this, but you know, look past that. 
and try this out, especially if you need a moisture protein balancing deep conditioner. Next we have from Agile Beauty, the Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. This mask is so freaking thick, okay? This melanin protein moisture balancing deep conditioner is nice and lightweight. It's creamy, like it's creamy, but it's lightweight. It has some movement to it. But this one, she, she is thick. She's also a protein, moisturizing, balancing, deep conditioner. It stinks, okay? I do not like the smell of this. It smells like flowers. It has a very strong floral scent, and I hate floral scents. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I don't think I mentioned this in my shampoo, favorite shampoos or favorite cleansers videos, because I did like the matching shampoo. It's one of my holy grails. But this line just does not smell good, and so I just, I just thug it out pretty much and I just make sure that my stylers have a stronger scent or a scent that I like to go over this. It gives me moisture, it strengthens my hair. I ran out of this um, right before Black Friday I think and picked up two of these because you know Agilewood was doing an amazing sale which I was shocked. So I already have backups of this in my stash and I just, I love this and highly recommend this. Now to get into some strong protein. And the first protein treatment I have is from Botanica Beauty and it is the Mender Protein Treatment. Y'all know I've talked about this time and time again. I don't know what's going on with Botanica. I don't know what's going on with this product. Maybe I need to reach out to them. I've reached, tried to reach out to them before to work with them and I didn't get a response. So we'll see if I can get a response. But I don't know what's going on with this, okay? Before we used to be able to find it in Target and find it at Walmart and I'm pretty sure they pulled it from Target and Walmart. And I was like, okay, cool. I can still get this on the site. Went to the site, bought two, and then ever since then, it's just been sold out. It just continuously says, sold out it's still on their website but it says sold out so i'm like okay are you getting rid of this are you discontinuing this what is going on i don't know so i think maybe you can get it on amazon i'll try to link it for you all but i like i honestly don't know where you can get this anymore and i'm so sad about it because this is an amazing protein treatment now if you tried the Afogee two-step treatment or the two minute keratin treatment this is a way better alternative with better for you ingredients whenever i feel like my hair is just limp or my hair is really breaking off or i just notice that my hair is just snapping very easily i just go in with this do a quick protein treatment leave this in my hair for about 15 minutes and my hair is restored and it's nice and strong i have used this no, I've only gone through one bottle. The bottle lasts you a long time. But I love this, and I was hesitant to mention it, but I really don't have like an alternative for this. If you have another protein treatment that you have been loving, especially if it's like a black owned or minority owned brand, let us know. I've tried the Green Beauty, which I did do a review. Their Green Beauty protein treatment where you like, you just add it to your favorite deep conditioner. I have tried that. I've only tried it once as a first impressions in that video and I haven't tried it since. So the verdict is still out on that. I feel like I need to continuously try it in order to let you know if it's like a holy grail or if it's a favorite or not. I did like it, but I don't know if I can put in a favorites yet so I need to keep using it. But let us, let us all know if you have a, an alternative, a really good protein treatment, that's not Afogee. Next, I wanna talk about Camille Rose. This is the Nangai Tsubaki Strength Restore Protein Treatment. This is from their Around the World collection, I believe. And this is a really good protein treatment. Now, I don't believe it's as strong as the Botanica, the Mender, but it still has really good ingredients, lots of protein. It's really going to strengthen your hair, just not as much as my favorite as Baby Girl right here, but it's still a really good alternative. This one is more of like a serum-y texture, whereas this one is more like a deep conditioner texture. It smells really bad though. It smells like a relaxer, but it strengthens your hair. It helps you to retain length. It helps to reduce breakage. It helps to reduce shedding. It's really one of my favorites. I feel like not a lot of people talk about this product, but it's definitely one of my favorites. All right, y'all, so that is it for my favorite deep conditioners and protein treatments. Like I said, a lot of things haven't changed, 
But we have a few newbies in here. And again, if you have a recommendation for a good protein treatment, let us know. All these products, maybe the Botanica included, will be linked down below in the description box just in case you want to check them out. Definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be my favorite leave-ins. And if you have missed previous videos, like my favorite pre-poods, my favorite cleansers, then I'll also have those linked down below in the description box for you as well to check out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.